So good morning everyone and uh, welcome to Louisiana, United States. We are here down south in the bird food of the Mississippi Delta. And today I'm joining uh, a team of researchers that's going to go to the land subsidence superstation that's been installed here a couple of years back. The idea was to see if you could deconvolve the subsidence signal at a site by looking at the amount of subsidence at various um, levels within the substrate. This is our uh, fiber strain meter. It goes down to different depths. Uh, this one I think is 10 meters and the deepest one is 40 meters. And each one of the holes has uh, a GPS antenna mounted on the top of it. So the extensiometers give you the um, subsidence over that interval that the wire is. So we're able to see interesting signals from just the, the water level rising from the tides, creates a loading effect and all, all of these you know, micrometer level signals. We're doing a leveling survey among the three well casings. We surveyed them in 2017. We're surveying them again now to know if there's been any differential settlement in the casing. If there is significant substance at the site, it's probably in that very superficial wetland, organic rich wetland layer. But the goal of the thing is that the state is talking about building a large river diversion for the Mississippi location and so if we can keep a continuous record going then we will be able to see once the diversion is built the loading effect uh, caused by that new sediment depot on the site. But of course hurricanes keep interrupting our signal so we're trying to figure out how to find the money to put it back together after Hurricane Ida knocked everything over. It's very exciting to be uh, in, this, uh, in this place with uh, Fortunately, still quite a bit of the measurement station uh, intact. Let's hope it can be uh, repaired soon and operational again. 